Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today we are making a Parisian set of townhouses and we are going to furnish all flipping four of them on and off. We'll do different rooms in different houses. They've all got different styles and then at the end we do a little walking tour of all four houses so we can see see inside them all and get different the different flavors and styles and stuff that are going on so as as a good parisian townhouse has we have balconies in the roof we have we're gonna have pillars and some big windows and all sorts of stuff that you need for a good a good townhouse that you use some of the round windows in the roofs as well just to make it look even more like a a townhouse should look like and I was using using a few <laughs> reference images just to make sure it looked pretty accurate and using a good mix of a load of different packs vampire pack was good for this and get famous good for this as well and strangerville as well and city living for the windows and stuff so we've got some nice small windows at the top because we obviously get smaller as we go up in the the room sizes and then we have the medium height ones for the bottom and the top bottom in the middle <laughs> the middle floors and then we have the smallest wall height for the top and the roof area one of the flats well houses is sort of a modern interior we've got one that's a big family home and we've got one that's a smaller family home and then we've got a sort of first home for like two, three, you can get about four sims in there so you can pretty much fit a load and load of different sims in here. So we are adding in our windows so we're using the, the ones with the little railings at the front that are from Strangerville which I thought were perfect for this type of build it is a little bit more fancy than a london townhouse of course because it's french <laughs> and we have to make sure we have loads of pillars as well just to make because the outsides normally have a really ornate especially the front of the houses and it will be fun to have each front door a different color to represent the different houses so we've got a white one blue one a pink one and a green one and i kind of let them influence what the style inside kind of is so you can kind of tell on the outside of the building which ones are the fancier ones and which ones are the less the less so ones so the one in the middle actually has both of the, the double the triple windows and has some nice flower boxes and it would probably be quite nice to add extra balconies on as like where the window tax would have taken I don't know whether they had a window tax in France they probably did everyone everyone had a bloody tax unless they were too busy like, having a revolution at the time of having window tax <laughs> I might have to ask about that one or look it up. <laughs> so the balconies are there to pretend that there were windows there. So now we've got now we've got nice plants growing in them and we have some of the balconies over some of the end windows as well. So you can kind of imagine that the same window would have been there, but it has now been now been taken away. I've also put a a little sign up so that has a little book on it which is kind of a take on what we have in the UK which is like a blue pack if someone famous or something like it's a famous building that something happened there or something like that so that that is kind of <laughs> what that represents that, that house was used for something somewhere <laughs> back in the past <laughs> we should have that in the sims this house is a special house also i thought it'd be fun to have it on foundation as well you could go in and add loads of basements underneath as well and make them like some of them five story buildings which would be fun you could like open up where we've got the foundation and the plants to have your windows in and make it a proper <laughs> a proper big townhouse and 
tried to make sure that the outsides were pretty pretty decorated and we got like a mix of some like fancy stone and some pavement stones as well kind of want to mix mix it up a little bit and have some more like i think they're like he well more than hexagon but like octagon types of types of paving to make it look as though it's in a nice a nice part of town and we've got different lamps at the top of the, the doors as well just give each one of them a little bit different character so we've got a big one on the, the green door and we've got two either side the blue door and then we've just got one above the other the other two doors it was really hard to find a an actual wall texture to to get the like line the stony kind of white cream texture that most of the buildings are but i went with the best one <laughs> the best one that i could find so we are jumping into our first house so this is our big townhouse in the middle and you can imagine that this is a, a wealthy family should we say they have the the biggest the biggest house within the floor and it's got a nice big sweeping staircase that you can actually look all the way all the way down to the bottom with and we are using a lot a lot of stuff from the get famous pack to decorate this the interior of this house as well so in this one i thought it, it has a lot of some color but kind of lots of golds and whites as well to offset it they've also got lots of big paintings about the place really flaunting their wealth and it's probably the first time i've ever used those curtains as well in this build but i thought it was proper like regency regency france inspired for this build and obviously each each little house has their own like coat stands and umbrellas and stuff obviously you have to go with gold to match all the gold that we've got in this house i don't normally do a house that's quite this extravagant which was quite fun um some some of the the rooms will jump will jump about a bit now because we'll go from doing two two living rooms and then we'll sort to doing two kitchens that so we don't don't get like all of the kitchens but we'll, we'll see everything once we once we finish furnishing everything this is our end house so this is kind of like an arts artsy house which we'll see why later on so we're like using a lot of the moschino stuff in here and it's got like wooden floorboards and it's got more bright colors and stuff as well a little bit more of them having a, a style that's a little bit more modern than the house next door and this one is basically just a one one bedroom house so you probably you probably have to be quite well off to to actually have this house and they're running their own business from the house as well so using got some of the sofas on different angles and stuff like that and i've never used <laughs> used that colorway on there as well so that was that was fun their kitchen is actually on the second floor so we will see that once we if we get further up in the glimpses so it's got there's a few different layouts <laughs> about the place and lots of plants and stuff in this house as well and a few bits of older stuff mixed in with the new stuff as well and most of the staircases in these these smaller houses are pretty <laughs> pretty big because they have to go all the way up this is the green the green door so this is kind of our two couples or like a couple and one other like sharing or just two sim sharing so it's kind of more basic the living area is a nice it got some warm tones and then in the kitchen we've got quite a simple simple little galley kitchen where i put all the 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 cupboards and stuff way too high so i went in went in and fixed that before before actually doing like the next bit but it was kind of quite fun trying to fit everything in and making sure that we had enough space to chop everything up and prepare meals and using some of the, the alien stuff as little jars and stuff just to add 
add some extra detail in because I don't want to don't want to do overdo it in these tiny kitchens but obviously you have to try and make it look as though it is and is a kitchen <laughs> and we've got a just a three seater because we've got the door there and we've got the other door as well so we have to squeeze in <laughs> somewhere for, somewhere for the sims to sit down unless you scrap the dining table completely and just sit <laughs> sit on the sofa this is our family our second family house so this is a smaller one so we've got a, a bigger table and a completely different layout again so we've only got three like we split the workbenches up so we've got the the kitchen the cooker on the the far side near the door and then we've got the, the fridge and the sink on the other side where the table is obviously that's to make sure there's enough room for people to sit down as well as cooking and stuff like that and use the use the longer ones by the cooker just to make it look as though it's a little bit more built in on that side and could hide stuff underneath without it affecting the cooking area i think i really hope there's enough room to actually prepare some stuff in there i think there should be next to the sink but you never never know with the sims what they are able to do and there's obviously going to be some barbecue areas out the back as well for the sims to use because everyone's got a, a back garden as well so we are now on the second floor and we are in the the big the big family house in the middle and we are doing a little study area and a little office and a music music space as well just to add add something different in because they've got they've got a lot of a lot of children <laughs> as we'll see and the when we do a little tour they have a load of children so they, they need an extra space for them to do do stuff in and the master bedroom is on the opposite side as well in this build i was using the free new doors that we got for the for the anniversary stuff and i think they look really cool in this type of build especially as they look they look a little bit older but they've also got that little modern glass like thing at the top i don't know what it's called the little window at the top i suppose it's called a window <laughs> but we've got one of those at the top and then we have we have in our master bedroom we've got the bed at the other end and we split in split the room in half with the fireplace so we've got the dressing table but they're getting ready to end the other end and we've got a little vanity and a few bits and bobs and then we've got the the get famous wardrobes to just add to our grey and white and brown brown kind of vibe we've got going on in this room which kind of tries to <laughs> tries to fit with the rest of the house this is our other family house and this is a kid's bedroom so this is a tiny tiny little room <laughs> so it was trying to work out how we can fit everything in so I put one of the bookcases actually on the end of the bed because some of the beds sometimes fit across the wall and then sometimes they have a weird gap at the end so it would be nice to put a nice green bookshelf we're going for a very green theme in here put the wardrobe next to it and we've got the a little table for them to do their homework or write in their journal and stuff just on a corner and we have a toy box as well just so they've got something to do <laughs> we need some more kids stuff i know we got a kids pack but we do need i do need a few things for kids kids to do and obviously we've got to put some some posters up just to make it look as though they are actually a human being and then we go for a nice green wall and green rug as well so now we jump up to the top of the the houses so this is uh, available to our end house and they are a fashion photographer so they have got their studio upstairs they've got everything set up ready to go and they've got a little waiting room and a little editing station <laughs> you can pretend that the camera is probably connected up to the computer so they can go in and edit all the pictures as soon as they've come in and the 
the people getting their the models and stuff can wait on the sofa they've got a rack as well for all the clothes that they're going to be photographing I think that's, yeah that's photographing <laughs> that's completely it's like it's photo photographing but then that's that sounds more, even more stupid than photographing. And then on the balcony, we have a little sliding door out to it. And then we have two seats as well. We've got a little old school lamp out there as well. So you can sit out in, in the nighttime. And I was going to say smoke a cigarette, but that's, that's been stereotypical. <laughs> <laughs> not all French people do that and this is on the other side so this is in the the family the family house the smaller one so their master bedroom it was all the way at the top of the house just to give extra room for kids bedrooms and an office as well a small office so they've got one of the the nice island living beds and then we've got use the the acting mirror in here because i never use that either but i thought it was quite a, quite a nice thing to put in the corner especially as it stands stands up and we've got a little dresser as well going for a very blue and white theme in here which is a little bit different to the other other way kind of inspired by the door frame <laughs> to be honest it's like oh, the door frames white and blue let's go with that <laughs> always always inspired by the, <laughs> by the doors because <laughs> this house the, the the smaller family home is quite quite like colorful in some ways but then it has a lot of white base base color as well so kind of getting getting the color in through the through the actual objects that we put in instead and it's got a nice big ensuite bathroom as well with a tub nice jacuzzi tub and all the all the stuff that you need for a good ensuite now that the i haven't put any laundry stuff in but if you wanted to do a basement that was a community community area for laundry and stuff like that that would be very cool to put in and there's obviously i did put a few washing lines out the back as well just for just for the aesthetic of having stuff in the garden I'm just gonna finish off with a nice painting on the wall and then we go back to our our, our fashion photographer's house and because i realized i didn't film doing a bathroom but we will see various numerous bathrooms so this is getting doing like a more old school one we've got some copper going on we've got the the jungle adventure tiles as well just to add to it and the matching shower which i'm annoyed that that colorway doesn't have the copper head on it like some of the other ones do which which is fair enough but it would have been nice if it matched and we will also be doing the the bedroom on the other side this, this bedroom's pretty grim to be honest because it hasn't got a window to it so that's why i thought it'd be nice to do a a big feature feature wall and have it a yellow and blue luckily i managed to find a blue that actually matched so i could do the rest the rest of the room in the, a similar color and then just making sure that we get everything in there that we need and probably best never to light any of the fireplaces in this build because you probably set the entire build <laughs> ablaze because everything is placed next to the fireplaces and i do change the double door to being a single door because i was like do we really need a double door into this bedroom it's a bit bit over the top and gives us a little bit more extra space which is a perfect place to put some more plants in because this person clearly clearly loves their foliage and wants to have some some beautiful plants and i did find a fun book the other the other day which was like 50 50 boys and their plants <laughs> and i was just like looking through it and there was one guy that made me laugh so much because he looks such a twat <laughs> it was just the one guy but he was the twattiest the twattiest guy in there but it was quite funny seeing all these <laughs> all these people just sitting around with their plants it's like who, who who decided to make this book? It's probably probably one of them did, to be honest. If they've made if they've made money from it, then then why not? Now we are on to our back garden. So we have obviously four back gardens. I did different different fence uh, gates 
I don't want different fences, different gates for each one just to just to mix it up. We have to have a little foundation bit as well because all the all the walls and stuff are on foundations so they could fit into fit into the same height and to not have any gaps and stuff because the the half walls always give you gaps you can't do the the magic trick of placing in the fence like sit in the gap like you can do with the fence so each garden has their own personality as well just to match the house and the the big the big middle house doesn't actually have access to their garden via their house itself they have to go round to the back and access it itself i thought that one would be quite fun to do as a proper traditional garden so it's got fountains it's got rose bushes it's got little ornate benches and stuff to sit on so it's a proper proper formal garden which was quite fun to do it's complete contrast to all the other gardens that are there and you can obviously lock the gates for certain sims as well if you're putting loads of people into into this build what a beautiful shot of a tree <laughs> it was really weird as well i think the ground sunk around the around the fountain so the plants that I was trying to put there didn't actually fit which was really bizarre I should probably go in and fix that with some some terrain editing and then just putting in a few bushes and we've got some nice big birch trees about the place as well and tried to try to do different landscaping so in this garden we have some just some bushes and some french lavender and a another blue plant as well in there and then other gardens we've just got trees with like stepping stones and then in the fashion photographer's garden we've just got like bushes a green wall and a bench because they're, they're not really that bothered they're not they've got plants inside they they care more about their house plants than they do their, their outside plants so Perhaps they'll, perhaps they'll have to learn the gardening skill <laughs> to level up. We've also got a climbing frame for the, the kids, the family house. And we've got a little wedding arch, which I thought was quite nice to have as like a pretend door in the, the other house. And we've got our, our washing lines and we're putting in some uh, barbecues so you can actually use the outdoor space as well off camera after after filming everything i then decided that it'd be quite fun to have a community space out the back as like a little cafe area so once we can see now that i'm putting in a little path at the back i extend this and put some of the the drink stands that we got with seasons and put like i think an autumn one and a a spring one or something like that so your sims can go out and get a drink sit there and have a coffee or a tea or something like that in the in the back and make it make it a little bit more of a community community vibe and you can imagine that these houses are like backed onto each other so the whole space can do it and we've got some graffiti as well on the side because obviously we have to have some graffiti so this is our <laughs> going into our tour so we're going to start off in the green the green house and we'll also be able to see the scale and stuff as well <laughs> in there of the different heights and stuff like that some little extra bits so this is our nice brown <laughs> living room we've got jerry on the wall and we've got our, our coats and stuff there and then we've got our our little galley kitchen which looks very very cute got our <laughs> tragic back garden <laughs> which you could obviously do up as you've got some more money and then up up the stairs i apologize if the camera glitches at any point i think game because i've seen a few other people have having the same problem there's our little a more industrial bathroom than some of the others and our first bedroom which is a nice dark blue one we've got some spacey stuff on the walls a few bits and bobs and then up the stairs we have a master bedroom so it's very very purpley room and we have an ensuite as well kind of mimics the the other master bedroom 
from the other the bigger house but a little bit more of a budget than the other house and then we go into <laughs> eventually with my poor poor camera controls we go into our pink house so we have a nice family living space lots of paint pictures and stuff on the wall there's pink curtains go with the door then we've got our other kitchen our table our split one and we have our nice outdoor eating area barbecue thing that looks a little bit more a little more, more kept than the the one next door obviously we can't see into the neighbor's stuff so we can't can't actually see we've got a parent board as well nice cheeky bookcase under the stairs as well just so we can save the space got a nice tiny tiny little bathroom and shower combo in the, up the second floor we have our office space not as not as fancy as the other one <laughs> that we will see next so we go along to our green kids bedroom so this is the one that we saw in the time lapse of the speed build and then we go up even further so this one is four floors high and we've got some bits and bobs all over the place this is our other kids bedroom so more of a teen bedroom so that's dark and <laughs> black very angsty angsty bedroom and then we have the complete contrast the other side of a nice bright pink rainbow colored one just <laughs> just for fun then we go up into the attic for the master bedroom and our balcony area and our, our ensuite bathroom as well this view of the balcony and then it goes mad glitchy so it was kind of hard to, hard to film inside here especially when you're four floors high as well because everyone knows the camera goes mental when you're that high then this is our fancy big big family house they've got a very fancy long kitchen off their off their living room we've got a nice formal table in there as well there's probably not enough seats for the amount of sims that they're in there and then we go we have a few windows up the stairs as well and hopefully you see that you can see all the way down we've got our, our master bedroom and our dressing dressing area on the other side and we have a, a bathroom for that so it's kind of there their bathroom but obviously guests can use it when they're downstairs then we've got our music and our office study area on the other side so it's quite a quiet <laughs> quiet floor and we go up and this is where all the kids bedrooms are so we have the toddler's room which is pretty basic and blue with a few bits and bobs that they need and then we have a a child's bedroom so very pink again we have their bathroom i forgot to put a mirror in there but they've got plenty of mirrors then we've got a teen bedroom so they've got their desk over the end of their bed just to save a little bit of space and then we've got a, another kid's bedroom on the other side and that is that is that that house and then we are into our fashion photographer's house so we have the living room that we saw in the speed build and all the different stuff and we can see out into their <laughs> very shabby back garden but obviously they can work on that when they've earned a little bit more money doing their fashion photography they've got a few of the the vampire tiles for for a little bit of fun at the doorway go up into their kitchen area which we didn't see in the speed build but we've got a nice industrial kitchen going for a bit of a red theme in here and dark dark woods we've got a laptop on the table as well doing, doing a little bit of work and then upstairs we have our bathroom and we have our only bedroom as well next door the camera loving <laughs> loving being in tight space with our little one wide corridors so we've got our bedroom with no windows <laughs> and a little workspace and then up up the stairs to the photo studio we've got our nice big pink neon sign and our little studio space and our seats 
that they can sit out on the balcony and look down on everyone so we can see, have a good look at the back gardens and I will leave you with some screenshots so I hope you enjoyed this build if you did feel free to give it a like if you'd like to see any more builds then feel free to subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next one bye